So we all know how important and how powerful Instagram reels are for growing our business page, but how do we actually turn these reels into sales? As a business owner, it is exhausting trying to come up with content ideas constantly that will get you more sales, that will get you more exposure, engagement. So I have some content ideas for you that are top tier, that are already performing well, and that you can rinse and repeat, recreate over and over again, that will at least boost your engagement and at the most get you more sales. Hi, I'm Ariana. I'm a social media manager and content marketing strategist. On the channel, we talk about socials for business, content creation and content marketing, and work-life balance. If that sounds like something you're interested in, I highly suggest subscribing. So the first real idea that I have for you is to include really good, attractive visuals into your reels. Reels are very interesting because there can be very pointless videos that just go viral as well as on TikTok. So instead of being annoyed when this happens to someone, take advantage of this. And one way to do that is by creating very interesting visuals that are very attractive to your target audience. For example, if you are interested in makeup and you are part of the makeup skincare community, if you are scrolling on TikTok or Instagram and you see a video of a vanity full of really cute pink skincare products and makeup products, you already know that you're going to be interested in that video. So you're going to stop scrolling and you're going to watch it and see if you get any valuable information out of it or just enjoy the ride. So use this to your advantage and understand what your target audience finds visually attractive, what aesthetic and what elements that they're attracted to, whether that's a certain kind of plant, whether it's a type of home decor, whatever your target audience is into, put it into a visual and also tweak it to kind of promote your product as well. For example, if I was selling a minimal lifestyle planner to business owners, I would probably use the visuals of a monochromatic background, a really cute setup of a couch or a chair with some coffee, things like that that will stimulate your audience and let them know that you understand what they like to see and they'll automatically be interested. Number two is to create satisfying content. I could sit here for hours and watch some random person carve a duck or an animal or something really pretty into a bar of soap just because it's satisfying. Take advantage of this type of really high performing content and implement it into your business. Whether you have a physical product that you can do something satisfying with, do it. And the key to kind of creating satisfying content in your niche is to understand your target audience and understand your product and what your target audience wants. For example, my target audience is business owners and entrepreneurs and something that I would find attractive even though I don't have a physical product, but that does also pertain to my offer, which is social media templates, would be to go on Canva and create a really beautiful graphic design or Instagram post or promotional post on Canva that results in a really nice professional and product. This I feel would be very interesting and satisfying to people in my niche because it would definitely be satisfying to me because I live on Canva and I'm pretty sure that most of my target audience does too. So if you're kind of unsure on what kind of satisfying content to create with your products and your offers, first try to understand what your target audience would find satisfying. And this doesn't necessarily have to be something like playing with slime or destroying a makeup palette. So I'm going to leave that one up to you. Next, we have lifestyle content. Show your audience what your product would look like in their life. So this is literally lifestyle content, for example, a day in the life or a lifestyle background. Going back to the example of selling a minimal lifestyle planner, an example of a lifestyle piece of content with this planner for this idea would be to show me using the planner on a desk with visual aesthetics that appeal to my target audience. Show what this planner looks like on your bed, on your couch, on your coffee table. Show your target audience what this offer would look like with it in their lives. How to use it, how often you can use it, different ways you can use it. And I'm not just talking about a plain white background just showing off your products and how it works. Actually use it in an everyday kind of a life situation. Because at the end of the day, your offer has a solution to a problem that your target audience has. So show them what your offer can do and what it looks like in their everyday life. And lastly is valuable content. So giving value to your audience can look different for every single niche and every single target audience, whether it's giving you business tips or whether it's giving you skincare tips. And it also doesn't even always have to be educational, just providing any type of value to your audience that they would find valuable. As someone with an entrepreneurial target 
audience. Business tips are usually my go-to for when I want to share valuable content, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a bullet point list of different tips for one solution. So it all does come back to understanding your target audience and figuring out what's valuable to them. Whether it's your favorite product of the month that help you do this, that relates to the problem that your offer solves, your favorite apps, favorite Netflix shows that you can all relate to, understand what's valuable to them, and then share that type of content over and over again. And then you'll always have content ideas to post that will attract your target audience and also build a relationship and make connections with them. So hopefully now you have a better idea of content ideas that you can post that will actually engage your community and get you some sales. This is all content that is high performing already across whatever platform you want to look at it on everybody is interested in them and it's very easy to tweak all of these ideas to your niche so take it and run with it if you found anything helpful from this video i'd really appreciate if you leave a like down below it really does help me out if you'd like to see more content like this and more content from me i highly suggest subscribing if you have any other video suggestions you'd like to see from me please let me know down in the comments if you'd like to check out my social media templates definitely do so the link will be in the description down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye!